to DIY Solar Homestead. Today I want to talk about tomaceous earth because that's the bug killer. Kills all bugs. So I got it to get rid of, I got these little gnats in the plants. So if you, and before I get on with that, if you want to make your own electricity, solar electricity, click on the links below. If you got a, a pool and you want a solar pool heater, I've got one of those. Links below. So, um, if you want to make hot air for dehydrator and such like that, links below. And let's get out of the tomaceous earth. So, what we have here, just so you can read it, and I believe this is all, it says shell flower, it's seashells. So it's not dangerous. So if it's on your, and I spray everything, I got a spray bottle. Here it is. So I got a spray bottle, and that's it. One tablespoon, it's at the bottom. You shake it up, you spray your micro garden. I see them, uh, on some videos, with the, the people are putting it in a sifter and sift it on all of the plants and all the leaves and kills the bugs. So uh, then you rinse it off and you eat it, basically. So so you don't have to worry. You see the stains on the plants, but that's no big deal. That just rinses off. So no big deal. Now I also have carnivorous plants, and uh, there's some more carnivorous plants. Can't see it with that grow light on there very well. And there are other. Here they are. All of these are carnivorous plants. Guess it's time to water it. Just to let you know, pretty soon I will be bug free look at there I got a Dell I mean I got a bell <laughs> there's another one in there somewhere but yeah that's flowering oh, I got a third flower coming in so I have to shake that up turn the fan on and let that self pollinate all right just thought I would share with you how to be bug free whether it's inside garden or the outside garden and have a nice sunny day